you see this application that I'm going to talk about on every episode that I put together. This is an alternative to cheese. Today I'm going to talk about Gov C View on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. You know, um, when I first started uh, doing my show here, I was using Cheese Webcam Booth. But the problem that I didn't like with it was the fact that it had a side panel or a bottom panel that you just couldn't get rid of. And I wanted something that was nice and compact and something that I could easily resize if I wanted to. And so I found this program. I saw another uh, webcaster was using this and I says, hmm, this looks cool. So I went into the Synaptic Package Manager and I found it. Let me pull that up for you so you can see it. You pull up Synaptic synaptic and it is G U V C View V I E W and uh, this is a really nifty little program I like it and uh, in the screen though it says uh, G U V C video I really don't know where it got its name from all I know is this is a terrific program first let's go into the image controls and you can see you can adjust brightness and contrast to your liking you can uh, also adjust the amount of saturation or no saturation at all. It's kind of cool. I like this. You can also set white balance if you want to or auto white balance on this. Now when you're doing a white balance, what you, what you really want to do is you want to grab like a white sheet of paper and hold it in front of the camera and hold it up and that way you can get the best uh, color. You can also adjust sharpness and backlight compensation if necessary. You also can have a manual mode or aperture priority mode and then exposure auto priority. The nice thing about this is it does capture images just like Cheese bo uh, Photo Booth does and you can also capture videos. You can save and open programs as well and I can even throw this into the default setting and you can see my image got a little bit darker there. Why don't we just kick the brightness up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then of course, you know, you can choose the device that you're using. You can choose its frame rate. Uh, you can also change the resolution to your liking. This one's usually suitable for most of my shows that I'm doing. Although sometimes, you know, if I'm using a virtual machine, I may actually want to shrink the video a little bit. So I like this, and I like the fact that it has a you know minimal compact size. Okay, and then of course after resolution, you can choose the camera's output. Now this is used obviously when you're uh, making video or you're just uh, showing this. I leave it at the MJPEG myself. I think this is great. You can select, uh, you can ex select the uh, image file name. You can select the image for bat format. I uh, like JPEG, it's okay, but personally I prefer the PNG or Portable Network graphic um, the, because those are native to my favorite graphic authoring software, which is Macromedia. Not Adobe, Macromedia Fireworks is the one I'm using now. And uh, I've been using that software for a long time. I really love it. And I was able to actually get that running natively here in Linux. And of course, you can choose uh, your, uh, your uh, video codec. You have a number of them that you can select from. I personally like the H.264 because it gives the best quality. And then, of course, you can select the AVI format. Additionally, you have a few filters, not quite as many as Cheese has, but they're still good nonetheless. You can mirror your image if you want to. Kind of neat. Uh, you can break your picture up into a few little pieces, and it does all this stuff in real time. Um, you can invert the image and uh, you know go on the flip side there, or we can have nice little particles flying around. And of course, 
if you feel like one of those old Doctor Who episodes where the Daleks are firing their uh, firing their uh, weapons and that sort of thing, <laughs> that looks ridiculous, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, and then the mono for black and white. Kind of cool stuff. And then, of course, we have audio controls. You can uh, have it record sound if you want to. You can have it show a view meter. I never saw that. And, um, hmm, that's weird. Okay. You select your input device for the audio. The sample rate. You can choose any sample rate that you want. I just go with the default. It works fine for me. And uh, I'm using the microphone that's built into my webcam. And it seems to capture quite well. Uh, you can also select uh, mono or stereo if you want. And then, of course, the audio format, MPEG-2. I've been using that. It seems to be working great. But MP3 is also really good, too. You can even add some audio effects uh, to your recordings. So all in all, I think this is a uh, competent alternative to cheese. I like this a lot, and uh, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good webcam viewing software that you can use to uh, capture and make videos with or take images and that sort of thing. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check me out on Facebook and Twitter. That way I can keep you up to date on all the latest and greatest that's happening here on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Be sure to tell all of your friends, and we'll see you next time.